it's amazing how they make these masks. I'm watching this video on how they make the masks on Lush. The ingredients are so fresh and they look like you want to eat them. They smell like you want to eat them. And I, I'm going to tell you about this today in this video because I'm going to speak about some masks that I got from Lush. I so far tried three of them. I, also, I already have a favorite from those three. We'll see along the way if I try more and I will. Uh, if I find another favorite or something that I like more than my current favorite. So I'm going to show you how it looks on, how it leaves my skin, I'm going to describe the smells. First of all, I know that they use fresh ingredients. Um, they state on the boxes that they're supposed to put them in the fridge and keep them in the fridge. The downside of these masks is that they only uh, are available for a month, hence the reasons for being fresh and the ingredients inside are fresh and natural and but at the same time I kind of like that because I know that the ingredients used are fresh how many times did I say fresh in this video already so I like that it gives credibility to the brand uh, in my mind because I'm always very skeptical about everything this is from a channel called Beauty Insider if you want to see how they are made, how lush face masks are made it's very interesting to watch and it really makes you buy more stuff because you think oh my god look at those ingredients it's so natural look at that amount of honey that they pour in there um, I'm gonna leave that aside and do my video in which I'm going to show you the masks that I have already oh and I also have uh, a lip scrub I have them all next to me here so these are the products that I'm going to talk about in this video. So when I first purchased the uh, Lush, I heard about Lush many years ago, but I never tried it. I do not know why, to be honest with you, because I'm someone that's into masks and I like doing my own masks. And this brand does it with fresh ingredients, natural stuff, and um, they are cruelty free and they're just all the things that you want to hear about being in a brand so i don't know why i haven't tried them before but uh my first two masks that i bought were rosy cheeks and bb seaweed these two i got about almost a month ago that's the first time me ever purchasing a Lush product and I'm so glad I did finally because I, I absolutely love them I do like how they smell, how how the textures are, how it leaves my skin that's the most important thing, it leaves my skin really nice it makes me feel pampered when I wear them because the smells are so spy-ish like and I don't know how to describe them, you would have to try them for yourself. And I got the Rosy Cheeks and the BB Seaweed, which I both like very much. And the recent one that I got was about four days ago, this is the OT Fix. So from all of these three, the Rosy Cheeks is my absolute favorite, because as it says here, it's for redness, it's for rosy cheeks. It says, nothing thrills us half as much as cleansing cheek to cheek. Calamine powder will soothe skin and calm rosiness. That's exactly what I explained to the person in the store, the girl in the store that was kind enough to guide me and point me in the direction of what I needed for my skin because I realized very fast when I walked into that store that I'm gonna be there for hours sniffing all the products and trying them on and just reading the labels I'm someone that likes to try and sniff and sniff <laughs> I like to sniff the products before I buy them uh, cosmetic products that is and I thought I'm gonna be here for ages so maybe I should ash actually ask someone to guide me in some products to just start trying something and get out of here in less than a day so I explained I have redness in my cheeks, a sensitive skin to the touch, I'm prone to broken capillaries in the face, the cheeks really, and uh, I have T-zone that's oily, gets oily throughout the day, but I'm quite dry on the rest of my face. So according to that, she recommended uh, rosy cheeks, that's the first one that she recommended, and I wanted another one, so she said uh, the BB seaweed, which has seaweed inside. So on rosy cheeks, uh, the ingredients are glycerin, kaolin, fresh rose petal infusion, and then in brackets, rosa centifolia, calamine powder, rose clay, rose oil, 
benzyl alcohol, lilial citronellol, perfume, and then it says occurs naturally in essential oils. The only thing with this mask is that uh, it ran out. I liked it so much. I'm so sorry. Can I show it on camera? This is a bit embarrassing. It still smells though. This is empty. This is empty. I'm sorry. I used it all and I washed this because it says here bring back five clean lash pots or tubes with this logo and get one fresh mask free. So if you bring five, five of these containers, you, you get the free mask, which as you can see, I can barely speak. That's how enthusiastic and excited that makes me. So that's gone because I love this so much. So far is my favorite mask because it calms the redness. It does what it says. And it, the calmness of my face, it just evens out my, my skin tone. It's not red anymore. And if I make this mask and then I apply the makeup on, when I remove the makeup at night, the redness is still at bay and I have no redness and the, the skin is calm. And for sure is this mask because I noticed since I started using this mask and I used it almost every day. I don't know how, how much, how many times I used it. Uh, about maybe eight times from a pot, but I I am putting like a desperate and quite quite thick layers I, I've been putting, which I've, I'll probably not gonna do that next time. I don't know, but it kind of makes you do, makes you use it fast because that's the downside. It, it expires fast in a month. So you have to use it quite fast, you have to go through it. So I didn't want it to expire and then be sorry, oh, because it's such a good mask, I love it. And therefore I've been doing this, I've been applying this mask every day almost. I think I can find a photo to show you how it looks on the face. It's pink, it's like a pink clay, it's very thick and yeah. It's just nice. It smells like roses. Oh my god, it smells so nice. I mean, if you don't like the rose scent or flowery scent, you're probably not gonna like how this smells. I don't know, but it does smell like roses and I don't mind. I like all plants, flowers, nature, sm smells from nature. I love them all. Oh, very nice and relaxing. Um... Why do I have a selfie with my face wearing this mask? Don't ask. Sometimes I take selfies of myself wearing masks for purposes like this one where I don't have the mask anymore and now I think I might use it in a video, show you how it looks like or I send it to my mom. Look mom, I made a mask. My mom doesn't live in the same city. She lives far, far away. So <clears throat> sometimes I send her all sorts of selfies like that. And thank God I have the selfie to show you, right? And it says here, keep in the fridge. It says on the front. The next one that I got was BB Seaweed. And this is very good as well. It's not as good, like for me personally, I love the rosy cheeks because it does the thing with the redness. But this is nice too. It leaves my skin soft. It, um... It leaves my skin feeling uh, glowy. It just makes my skin look nice and calm and not red. And it says on it, relaxing, reviving, mineral-rich mask to cleanse, soften, and beautify. Fresh, nutritious seaweed, cleansing kaolin, antiseptic honey, calming aloe vera, and rose absolute makes this a great mask for everyone. And it says, keep in the fridge. This is how it looks like inside. As you can see, uh, I like this too. I've used it a lot and it looks like a spread. It looks like a spread uh, with bits in. It has seaweed in and I really like the fact that it has seaweed in as well. I don't mind the bits. It makes it feel more spyish experience. Spyish, I don't know if that's a word. It has eucalyptus rosemary maybe, um, thyme, I don't know, it just smells like that, like from nature and that adds to the experience of pampering. For me, I always keep in mind the smell you get along with the texture. These two combine the texture and the smell of the mask. That's what makes it into an experience of pampering for me. And this is amazing. And I'm gonna show you how it looks on my face. I have actually have a video with me applying this. So um, here, here it is. Let me just start applying it so you can see it better. It's very... The texture of it is like a paste. Very thick, as you can see. 
and it has bits of seaweed through which I like because it makes you feel like I was on a beach somewhere and I've just took it from the ground <laughs> and started applying to my face just that's how raw of experience it feels and makes you feel close to nature and appreciate nature I don't know it's just something it's a whole experience of using this mask it smells amazing you know how seaweed in a hot day can smell horrible because I am from a, the seaside I grew up in a city with the sea and trust me it can smell horrible the, the seaweed when it's baking under the sun but this doesn't smell horrible at all it just smells amazing if you've been to a spa and you had a facial and they put those masks after the massage after the facial and it just smells like that like really soothing and a bit eucalyptusy i don't know it's a a bit of eucalyptus smell in there i think and rosemary as well i think I don't know how to describe it. It's absolutely amazing for the senses. And I love how it looks. It looks like a proper mask. It looks like I'm pampering myself and I don't mind the bits of seaweed. I actually like it even more. Even if I put a bit on my hair, it's just gonna be removed with lukewarm water after. I wanna be generous with this mask. I love it so much. Uh, because they also expire quite fast. Well kind of like a month they have because they're freshly made which I love and it makes you want to use it more often and keep at it you know because otherwise you feel like you wasted your money if it expires I keep this in the fridge and it's lovely and cooling when I put it on it's refreshing because it's cold now I'm gonna leave it on for about 10 minutes that's how much I like to leave this on Okay, it's time to remove this because it's so dry. Look at that. These, <laughs> these bits are hanging. And I've tried eating with this on. I don't think it was a good idea. Also, it's quite uncomfortable to eat with this on because it holds your face. One bit fell into my plate. Though, so be careful if you eat with this on or masks with bits on. Or maybe you shouldn't eat with them on because... Particles might fall in your plate and then you might end up eating them and that's not a good idea Okay, I removed the mask and this is how my skin looks like with no moisturizers Nothing on my face. I've just splashed my face with cold water in order to close the pores and I really like how my skin looks like it's a bit it's a bit red uh, just because I've washed with lukewarm water and I've rubbed gently to get the bits off. I love the feeling of my skin after a mask. It's soft. Oh, it smells so fantastic. I love it. Um, I have my hair like this because I've just finished uh, with the seaweed mask. So that's why I just left it like that. I hope you don't mind. The third mask that I picked up just four days ago, roughly, yes, four days ago, is OT Fix. And it has a blend of oats, banana, and vanilla and stuff. And it smells amazing. This mask smells like cake. It smells like cake. It just smells like cinnamon. Vanilla, banana, yes, it smells oats, yes, custard. Yes, I can sense some custard in there. Oh, I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Don't eat it. I mean, I won't eat it because it's a mask, but I do want to eat it. It says, cleanse, soften, and moisturize dry, sensitive skin. A blend of bananas, vanilla, and oats to cool and nourish. Uh, Illy pea butter. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Illy pea butter to reduce redness, ground almonds to gently polish, and kaolin to cleanse your skin. And it says keep in the fridge, yes. Just try not to eat this delicious salty face mask. I haven't, I didn't know it said that there, I didn't read that. Why haven't I read that? I don't know why I haven't read that, but it's true. I wanted to eat this. I said to my husband, I put this on. Oh my god, I want to eat this. I want to eat this so badly. This is how the OT fix looks. It looks like a mask I would make. I've opened my pores. I've just had a shower. I have nothing on my skin but 
just I washed with face wash, you know. That's it. No moisturizer, no nothing. Pores open, mask on. Okay, this bit might fall, so be really careful. This is really messy. Um, it can be messy, I mean, if you're not careful. Oh my, it's falling on the ground. Oh, I like this in a thicker layer. This also is kept in the fridge. I think all the masks, you have to keep them in the fridge. I mean, the ones that I bought so far, it says on them, keep in the fridge. I don't know if uh, the others, I don't know. I just know about the Otifix, Rosy Cheeks and the Seaweed. They all need to be kept in the fridge. Oh my god, it smells... Oh, it smells like a cinema roll. It just hit me now. That's what it smells like. Like cinema. Oh my god, don't put it in my nose. No, 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 no. Like a cinnamon roll. This is the second time I applied this mask. And, um... I'm not enjoying it as much as the others. The texture, I'm not enjoying it. It's because I have to... I feel a bit stressed when I apply it because it falls. These bits fall if you're not careful. That's why I kind of pat it and try to stick with the other pieces that I just applied. I do most of the time like to spread the mask just under my jaw jawline as well. And sometimes on my neck as well. But because I'm filming now, I, I, I don't want to do that now. I'm not in the mood to spread it all over. But it is good to take care of your neck as well. If you can. I mean, if you can. It's advisable, really. I'm gonna put it underneath the jaw as well. I just wanna lick my fingers. That's how good it smells. I love the smell. But the texture, look at it. It's like, it's very grainy. It's very easy to, I'm looking in the camera now. Okay, how much should I leave this on? Five to 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna set my clock to do that, to ring. This mask is not very good if you're on a diet or you're trying to restrict yourself from having cake and sweets and stuff because you just think about cake. Right now I just want to have a cup of coffee with a slice of cake, a slice of red velvet cake. You know, that's what I want because of this mask. Okay, so I'm back and I removed it and I love the result. My skin is very, it feels very evened out. I don't know, it just doesn't look too red, except the broken capillaries, which I have for a while, because I'm prone to that, sadly, so, yeah. Uh, my skin looks really uh, glowy from the within, I do like, I feel very refreshed, I like this mask, even though the texture is not one of my favorites. My favorite texture from the masks I tried so far is the the rosy cheek one I think because it has no bits in it it's just smooth and really thick paste and I do like that it's easy to work with that but I also like the seaweed one even though the bits are there is still lovely but this one with the OT fix the oats one the texture is just a bit you have to be careful because bits will fall down and just make sure you kind of blend it with the bits that you already put on your face because it can be messy but other than that the mask itself is really good I do like it the result it gives me it smells fantastic not good if you're on a diet but it's not like you're gonna eat it it's just that it makes you think about cake you know or bad things um, I love it. I have a bit here, I see. I'm gonna now put a moisturizer on and an SPF probably because it's daytime, but I do like the the look, um, the feel that the mask gave me. I do like these masks a lot. Uh, my husband noticed as well, says, oh, you're doing these masks almost every day. You love them. I said, yes, I actually do like them a lot. And I'm gonna try others. Um, some of them I heard they have granules and like sea salt and all sorts of stuff that you have to be really careful. Some of them I've noticed the bits in them maybe they're safer on the body than on the skin because they can be quite abrasive and uh, aggressive to your skin if you're not careful. So, but this one, these, these are fine. I love them and they're smooth and I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speaking too much because I like them so much. They are great products, I do like them and they smell amazing, they look amazing. I haven't tried them all from what I tried so far, which are these three masks. That's, that's what I think about these three masks, I haven't tried any others. But 
any other mask that I'm gonna buy in the future from Lush, I am gonna make sure I'm sharing with you on this channel so you can see the texture, you can see what they have inside and so on and so forth. You can decide for yourself if you're tempted or not. And yeah, this is my opinion about these masks. I also got this lip scrub when I first got the two masks, the Rosy Cheeks and the BB Seaweed. I got this as well. Ah! Oh my god, I nearly dropped it. Okay, this is glass. Uh, not that it would break, but uh, I nearly dropped it. It looks like that. And it has sugar in there because it's sweet. I wouldn't eat it. I don't eat it, but it, you know, I involuntarily, when I rinse it off, I can taste it a bit and I do spit it in the sink. I don't eat these things, so. It smells like cherry. It does. It does smell amazing. It does a good job with the scrubbing of my lips. It leaves a bit of a tint behind, a red tint after I used it. And I noticed, I used it about eight times so far. I don't scrub my lips every day because, I don't know, I don't like to scrub my skin overly. Um, oh, it smells like cherries. It really does smell amazing. Let me show you the the texture. I hope I don't drop it everywhere. Um, see? It does leave a red tint behind very subtly uh, and then it goes away in time, you know, it doesn't leave like a lip stain but it very subtly makes your lips looking yummy and a bit slightly pink and lovely. I did drop a bit on the floor. I did scrub my lips before this video and it did left a slightly pink hue on my lips. I've only applied lip balm on top and yeah, it feels nice when I use it. It smells amazing, it smells like cherry and you just want to eat it basically. And it says here, pop open this playfully pink confection to polish your pout to perfection. I like the little rhyme. And it says here uh, on how to use, take a small amount on the tip of your finger and gently work over the lips to smooth and polish. The ingredients in this are, let me see if I can see anything actually. Yeah, I might put my glasses on, I don't know if I have glasses in here. <gasps> I don't have any glasses in here. Really? I mean, uh, squint. Caster sugar, organic jojoba oil, cherry camel oil, fair trade shea butter, uh, citric acid, davana oil, lime oil, cocoa absolute, almond essential oil, titanium, titanium? Yeah. Titanium dioxide. And then it says synthetic fluof Fluoflogapite. Synthetic fluo... <laughs> what am I saying? It's a synthetic fluoflogapite. I hope I'm saying this right. Tin oxide. Eugenol lemonen. 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 Flavor color 77491. Color 153501. And then it says, occurs naturally in essential oils, suitable for vegans. This is very small writing in there for my eyes, which I don't have the glasses next to me, I couldn't find, so I have to really squint and try to read them out for you. Fighting animal testing, it says here. And uh, it shows two rabbits fighting. Um, and it says on the back, this product was made by Dean on the 12th of December 2019. Used by 12 February 2021. Oh, so this one doesn't expire as fast. I thought it would expire in a month. Thank God it doesn't because I can't exfoliate my lips that often. Best used fresh. When I went with my four-year-old son uh, in the shop, you know, everything is just laid out there, looking lovely, looking yummy. Some look like cupcakes or candy. You know, they look so good and my four-year-old just he was sniffing everything of course as soon as I walked in I told them don't eat anything don't put anything in your mouth if you touch anything which he did because he was touching stuff there they look so good I don't blame him I want to do that but him you know 
um, if you touch anything don't rub your eyes afterwards or put your hand on your face or in your mouth just don't eat anything this is not for eating I stressed that a lot I am very yeah I had to make sure my son would need that and of course they look so good I like someone has to tell me not to eat them you know because they look amazing so this was my video this was my lush not necessarily a review, I just wanted to show you what I discovered lately and I liked and that's it, that's, that's what I had to say. I hope it helped and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!